Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to talk to you guys about video metadata inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. So metadata is information about a video clip usually set when you export a video or when you capture a video that describes the video and the properties contained within. So normally you can actually access this in Windows Explorer by right clicking on any video and going to properties. So here I could check out the details and this would be much the same metadata that you would actually see inside of DaVinci Resolve. But with respect to DaVinci Resolve itself, the metadata can be pretty helpful in some ways. So, so when you click on a video clip in either the media pool or the timeline, and then you go up to the top right in the edit tab and you click on metadata, you're going to get this tab to pop up. It'll let you know where the clip you have selected currently is. So this one is being selected in the timeline, but if I was to select the same clip from the media pool, it would be indicated that we're now uh, selecting it from the media pool. But what you'll notice is that regardless of whether it's the timeline or the media pool, much of the basic information is going to be set to be the same because the metadata doesn't change when you actually add it to the timeline. So here you can see that in this video clip I recorded, I had about 14 minutes, 56 seconds of runtime. But obviously inside of the timeline itself, uh, this clip from here to here is probably about um, five seconds. Likewise, with frames, you can see the original video clip had 26,885 frames, but here, because it's five seconds, you're probably dealing more around 150. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at the metadata. Now, in terms of what useful information you can actually get out of your video clip, you can see the codec that it was recorded or exported in, and that's both for video codecs and audio codecs. So H.264 is a container format for mp4 files so if you were trying to bring in a video clip to the timeline that had some very weird a video or audio format that maybe you don't have the codex for on your computer or maybe just has some weird compatibility issues in the program then you could come here and see what kind of settings the video clip is actually using if you're running into some issues that might give you a little bit of debugging information um, but as a more general purpose, you can also see the FPS and the resolution of the video clip itself. So the resolution will basically tell you when it was recorded or exported, how many pixels were on the screen. So if you try to bring in a low resolution clip into a high resolution timeline, basically where you're creating a new video that has a very large um, window in terms of the number of pixels on screen, then you may run into some quality issues. So knowing the resolution of your video clips should be a good indicator for things like the max resolution that your video should actually be set to. Now, one smart feature that DaVinci Resolve does have is whenever you bring in a video clip for the first time into your media pool, uh, DaVinci Resolve will let you know if the FPS and the resolution does not match the project settings. And every project is going to have its own default project settings, which you can find out by going to File and then Project Settings. Uh, of course, I have another video on that that covers this in more detail, but you can see Timeline Resolution, and they also have presets so that whenever you load a new project, it can have certain settings. And also the frame rate which you can see timeline is set to 30 and playback is set to 30 as well. Associated with the audio codec, you can also see the frequency which it was exported at and the number of audio channels that are associated with this video clip. So if you didn't already know, when you record or export video, it can actually have multiple channels of audio, like I like to do with OBS, where you can have the desktop audio be one channel, and then the microphone audio is a different channel in the video makes it easier to edit. That's why you will always see like audio one and audio two down here. That's the reason for that. Uh, one more pretty useful piece of metadata information might be date modified. So let's say for instance that you were recording a video and you wanted to let your watcher know when that was actually recorded. Maybe it's something like a vlog video. Well, you can find out when it was recorded by checking out the date modified which is usually going to be the date which it was recorded on if you're talking about raw video footage and you would be able to see the date and the time. So just by checking the metadata, you can find out what date and time you should be putting in the titles in your video to let the viewer know about the time and date where you were actually filming. So that's just a brief overview of metadata inside of DaVinci Resolve. Obviously, if you want to find more metadata about your video, then you can always find your video clip, right click it in Windows Explorer, go to properties, 
details, and you'll have extra information here that you don't even have inside of DaVinci Resolve. But in terms of what's mostly useful for video editing, you'll find it straight inside of DaVinci Resolve's metadata tab over here. So that's going to be it for this video. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future DaVinci Resolve video content.